Hey everyone and welcome back to what is now the rebranded version of this channel simple science and technologies okay so in this channel we are now going to be expanding to ICT topics so why are, am I doing that it's basically we have a we have a mission to really you know fulfill what is important in the world right now in the current landscape of science and technology the knowledge of ICT systems of new emerging technologies is extremely important and it's very important that we firstly understand the fundamentals of ICT okay so these are things like computer systems ICT systems which we are going to be introducing today and the main concept we're introducing today is an ICT system okay so what is an IT, ICT system? An ICT system is a concept. It's a very, very broad concept that consists of many different individual computer systems connected using communication technology. Okay, And it's officially def defined as a setup or an organization of four key things. Okay, So firstly, hardware. So these are the physical components that go into um, creating systems. So things like, you know, the computer hardware, your smartphone hardware, and then you've got your software. These are programs or, or rule books or instructions that go um, basically code that are used to operate in computer systems. Data. These are the stuff that flow through these systems and govern their operations as well and um, we'll go into how data and information are effectively not the same um, and we go into deep uh, detail about how data analytics can be very very powerful in our everyday lives and we've also got users these are um, individuals who will be affected or rely on computer systems in their everyday um, work and in their everyday lives. So, as I've um, could probably have um, you know um, imagined before for you all, ICT systems are not computer systems. Okay, these are not the same. You must be able to differentiate between the two, so that you can understand that a ICT system is rather a group of computers their uh, software, so the hardware and the software, as well as the communication networks that allow for data to transfer between these different systems, as well as the users that are uh, impacted or rely on these technologies every day. Okay, so it's an amalgamation of these things. And, um, you know, an ICT system, again, is not a computer system. It's really an organization of computer systems, software, um, data and communication and the users that are involved as you can see ict systems are prevalent in our everyday lives they contain many different computer systems that we interact with and see in our everyday environments such as factories at our home at work in the city um, on the aircrafts and on on ships you know many different vehicles and devices and we recognize them as environments, as I mentioned before, or applications. Applications are basically uh, what um, technologies can achieve. So, for example, the robots are used within factories, in the, in the environment of factories, to assemble a car. You know, our uh, Apple MacBook and our iPhones are used every day. Uh, for us to control important applications like perhaps Spotify, Messenger, Calendar, and uh, on aircraft, for example. An aircraft is a computer system that has very sophisticated software that allows for pilots to either control or run the, uh, <laughs> the airplane on autopilot to allow us to fly anywhere in the world. Um, so those are individual computer systems that um, achieve applications and they form a part of an ICT system okay so that is the first uh, chapter that we're going to be talking about the components of an ICT system so firstly we'll be talking about hardware so the hardware that goes into um, composing a, um, a computer system things 
Um, and I always talking specifically about internal hardware. So these are um, not external hardware, things like input and output devices. We'll be not talking about mice, um, keyboard, uh, speakers, because believe it or not, we don't need those to operate a computer. Yeah. Um, we'll then be going into um, software. So these are the, um, the fundamental programs that we use, um, such as operating systems, utility systems, as well as applications such as, you know, Office, uh, Microsoft Office, or your favorite Counter-Strike game. Okay. And then we go into detail on uh, individual operating systems and their really what the, the general tasks of operating systems are. For example, controlling the operation of devices. Um, they supervise the loading, running, and storage of application programs, deals with errors, security, computer logs, and allow um, the um, communication between the user and the computer system. This is known as the user interface, or you have things like the CLI, which is a not so friendly user interface that we'll be talking about in this topic. We'll also be going into different computer systems. So from your general purpose PC setup to laptops, kiosks, smartphones, okay? And then we'll be talking about another subset of computer systems uh, that we recognize as emerging systems. These are things that are um, becoming a more prevalent part of our everyday lives that are growing at remarkable rates that um, we typically don't necessarily interact with it um, in our everyday lives. These are things that are quite high tech, things like artificial intelligence, uh, robotics, and um, for example, quantum cryptography or encryption. So these are uh, very promising uh, technologies that um, we uh, will only learn on the surface. Okay, so um, these are the five key topics that by the end of this chapter, when you do um, come to familiarize with, you'll be able to have a very broad overview to start off um, on ICT systems and computer systems. Okay, so I hope today you've been able to understand what an ICT system is and how that differentiates come from computer systems and um, you have a better overview of what this chapter includes. So um, thank you very much uh, for watching this video and I hope you all have a nice day.